Covering the state house, there are more than 1,600 people living with sickle cell disease statewide. Most are from black and brown communities. As WRTV's Meredith Hackler shows us tonight, it's an issue that doesn't get a lot of attention, which is the reason why one former IU football star is joining the effort to get lawmakers to do more about it. One in every 500 African-American children that are born will have sickle cell disease. But access in Indiana is hard to come by, with only about a dozen providers across the state. That's why sickle cell warriors came to the state house to advocate for more access. She got out the hospital. She was healthy. She came to the game, and um, I had four touchdowns. That was... Uh, Yeah, I have four touchdowns for her, and uh, she just inspired me, and um, she motivated me to, to, to do that. Tevin Coleman is no stranger to sickle cell disease. Both he and his wife are carriers of it. Sickle cell is a genetic blood disorder that affects red blood cells and can cause extreme pain, swelling, and infections. Coleman himself had issues with the disease when he was playing football at IU. Now his daughter is suffering from sickle cell which is what inspired him and his wife, Akila, to become advocates. It's going to show the parents that they have someone to relate to, and it's going to show the lawmakers and decision makers, hey, like, this is real. You know, even if it doesn't affect you, you're seeing us, you're seeing that, you know, it exists, and we still need a lot of help to just, you know, kind of get it along the way. Access to care for sickle cell disease is hard to come by, something that providers of that care say has a lot to do with disparities in our health care for black and brown individuals. When our patients um, walk into the emergency room, and especially if they're coming in with pain, a lot of times they're questioned about how bad their pain actually is. Do they really need the pain medication that they're saying works for them? A line of questioning patients like Kajay Henry know firsthand. Unfortunately, I have had my own experience where I'm in the hospital and I'm informing the doctors, my health care team, that I'm experiencing excruciating pain and they're choosing not to believe me. That's why doctors and patients alike say investing in more resources to treat this chronic disease is vital. We don't have the resources to, to reach every patient um, in the state and we really need the state to help support us um, in expanding um, access to care. Working for you, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Democratic Representative Greg Porter proposed adding $1.5 million a year to the biannual budget to invest in sickle cell initiatives, but that conversation died. There are several organizations in Indiana dedicated to providing care for sickle patients. We have those links on our website at WRTV.com.